Welcome back to Some Celeste. I'm Dear Darling and more face in the Demons and Reach a Summit together where I've looked back now through our previous video of um was Golden Ridge and I sort of know the location, I believe, of um the Blue Heart, which I discovered that first time. So we're gonna have a another crack at um trying to figure out basically what was going on with that thing. If you don't know, it's um uh, someone confirmed that this is a Mario Mario 3 reference? I, I, I don't quite remember. So I, I had a think about this and um, I feel like I've seen this before somewhere in like um because apparently it's like an easter egg in Mario 3 and them mentioning that, I can't remember who it is, it's probably Colin because he always says everything. <laughs> Thanks Colin. Um, the, the, the hidden MVP. Um, it uh, like triggered a memory in my mind but I feel like I vaguely remember something about this. I don't remember how at all you react with it but I know but them saying that it's an easter egg made me think like I can remember something and it's either like I, I had two thoughts. One thought was like it somehow meant that you could fly forever and another thing was I think it was like some sort of teleport thing where when you interact with it you like um I can't even think <laughs> you, you interact with it and you get like warped to uh, s somewhere which is like a shortcut or something. Okay, well, um, <laughs> I, I just held down on it, to be honest, and that kind of worked, which is, okay, well, I mean, I didn't expect to solve it just like that. I, I, I had, like, a whole checklist of things I was going to go through. I was like, okay, we need to jump on it, dash on it, dash into it, <laughs> a load of other things, but apparently just holding down onto it works, which is just my thinking pose, but there we go. Um, so there we go. We got, we, we got, we got this Mario 3 secret I guess eye of a storm which I don't really recall much from I, I do remember walking on this and being like why is this making a noise <laughs> and I remember I held down on it before because I thought that was how you used to interact with it but I didn't I didn't have faith in it so you know it's a good thing I just held it down for a little bit longer that time when I was trying to think of something to do <laughs> but anyway um okay well, that was a quick start to that episode I guess we're going into a mirror temple's b-side now Where we're continuing on. Didn't didn't we already get through this part? Hold on a minute. I, I thought I was midway through a level. Or maybe I quit instead of um I, I must have accidentally quit instead of um Ah, I shouldn't shouldn't have eaten you. <laughs> Oops. I I must have accidentally quit instead of um just saving and going on. Which that didn't occur to me till just then, so whoops. That's okay. We we done it once. We can do it again. It doesn't mean we we'll have to sort of um <laughs> make our way through this annoying part again. Uh, these little like behemoth, not behemoth, beholder like mon. Oh, we we killed um fear. Beholder like monsters are certainly one of the most annoying mechanics I think in this game. <laughs> or I suppose it's because I don't I, I don't like the feeling of being chased. I'm not sure many people do, mind you. It's a rather undesirable feeling. I got a feeling. I kind of like to take my time with it. <laughs> and having this added pressure of something chasing me is um undesirable in every sense of a word, as you can imagine. My my, my brain just froze. I just, I just couldn't think how to get around you, to be honest. <laughs> I did not know that worked. That's incredible. That is incredible information. That is unbelievable. We can crush them. <laughs> no! We can crush them using this? I mean, I guess that makes sense, but I kind of expected them just to like respawn. The fact that it actually worked is unbelievable. How do we get past this? I don't remember. Excuse me? <laughs> have we done this part? I felt like we've done this part. Maybe we haven't done this part. Maybe we did stop exactly at the checkpoint.
Um, that, that's not particularly fair. How do we do this? How do we get Theo across? We did this right. <laughs> am I am I going crazy? Maybe maybe we haven't done this. Oh my word! No, no. <laughs> I sh I don't I don't know. It, it's been a few days since I last played Celeste. I don't play the same game over and over again generally. Um, you actually carried him all the way to the exit, which is very kind of you to be honest. I don't remember how we did this. <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> I meant to put him down, I didn't mean to yeet him off the edge. Hold on. Let's do that thing again. Ah, oh, almost. It does make things considerably more convenient, I'm not gonna lie. What? <laughs> I can assure you that I did not hold to the side. I did, I did not intentionally dash off the edge. So yeah, um... It's quite, a, quite a difficult one, this one. Perhaps being chased is not really in my forte. How do we do this? Oh god. What? <laughs> I feel like I must be going insane. How, how on earth do we... I thought we can chuck, chuck this at you and it kills you. Maybe I'm, I'm remembering wrong. Or maybe I just, well, I mean, I did just miss, to be honest. <laughs> you can phase rewards. This is so annoying. I don't remember it being this annoying. I I don't know if I'm if I'm actually just making it up or not in my mind. But we did this, this level already. How do we do it so easily the first time? If we even did it easily the first time. It's not been that long. How can I not remember? Oh, we must... You know what we did? We probably... No, what? That's probably what we did. What? <laughs> he fell off? Oh, wait, can we like throw him mid-air and catch him? That's probably what we have to do. Oh wait, can he not stand on spikes? I guess that's to prevent us from using him as a... How, how are we meant to do this? I think I'm going insane. Hold on. I kind of just want to see. <laughs> Am I missing something? Are we meant to jump over? How are we meant to... <laughs> I think I'm dumb. I think I'm actually just dumb. <laughs> like... But I just can't remember how to do this anymore. If I even knew in the first place, which is the big question mark. I thought that's how we did it, but clearly it's not. There's nothing for him to even stand on. Hold on a minute. <laughs> I've got to see if we did this before or not. Oh, we never actually figured out how to do it either on that video, so... Um, that's why I was getting this weird sense of deja vu. It's because I have done it. Oh, you know, that's why he can't be on spikes, otherwise we can't pick him up again. It's because we, we did attempt this up a few times at the end of the last episode, but then we stopped because, you know, we ran out of time. <laughs> that's why I'm going crazy. I was like, I swear I've done this, but <laughs> how did I do this? It looks impossible. We, we just haven't figured it out yet. Um, I've got to assume it's to do with bouncing on the... Bo what are you doing, Madeline? <laughs> You're going for the back pass, I suppose, of playing rugby, are you, instead of basketball? Shoot from a net, shoot from a net. I should have dashed that way. I thought, I thought you wouldn't get me in time, to be honest, but that hubris has cost the better of me. And also, we spent 10 minutes on just this one level, which is a bit OTT, I think. Okay, I don't actually know what we're meant to do. <laughs> the fact there's um an orange-looking door blocking us suggests to me there's a button, another button somewhere we need to hit. But I can't see one. Okay, just chill. I can't get you here. I'm just trying to figure out how we get Theo across. The only way I can think is bow bouncing on its head and somehow chucking Theo really far. That seems so difficult to do though. Are you serious? <laughs> it's, it's quite a fin finicky mechanic I suppose. Much more finicky than um, bad line chasing you which is very predictable. 
because she does exactly what you do. It's got it's got a bit of floatiness to do it. Okay, saved. <laughs> the hitboxes. Okay, that time I guess it was kind of on the side, but in my mind that was on its head, or on its head enough for the hitbox to register as it as it were. But unfortunately, the game had other plans. It it's the only thing I can think of is just by bouncing on its head. <laughs> I guess we could use that explosion to propel us upwards. I must be missing something. This It's not normally this difficult to figure out what's going on in a level. I mean, sometimes there are like puzzle-like elements to a level, but this is far more than I expect from Celeste. <laughs> the timing is... Getting rather annoying, I'll be honest. Go away. <laughs> what? I suppose I just don't understand the mechan mechanics of this well enough. I, I don't know if you can do it self-passed as a thing. Because the self pass is the first thing I, I think of. Um, because there's like no button we can hit to get one. We can't jump very high with Theo. Like, what's, what's the highest we can toss for you? Like, that high. That's not very high. <laughs> Which is in its... In of itself a problem, isn't it? <sighs> Why? <laughs> is this a thing where you're on the ground and sometimes when you hold a diagonal button down, it just dashes you immediately off horizontally rather than down into the ground? Okay, that's that time we just be able to jump. I don't want to get frustrated at the game because that's not really what I do. I'm just sort of, like, confused. Mainly. <laughs> Untiltable. That's what I like to think. I just don't know what I'm meant to do. I feel like I must be missing something. I, I, I hope I'm missing something. Because it's like... This is such an annoying jump, especially when that happens. <laughs> that is making me think I must be missing something. and There must be something else you're meant to be doing. But there's really not much to interact with, so... um. Using just like general problem solving skills. You've only got like two things to interact with and like I don't know if we can Like I guess you might as well try to see if you can throw Fiat that high normally and you can't. So if you have so if you can't go over it, the only other way is under, but Actually now I think about it. I suppose Okay, well, that's no good. <laughs> I suppose what we should have done better is chucked Fio through then walked through ourselves. Uh, this bounce, the, you know, I will think after this, this has cemented itself as probably my least favourite mechanic in this game, but you know, that's the point of a range of mechanics, because every mechanic is someone's favourite. While I might like, I, I don't know what my favourite mechanic is in Celeste, there are quite a few of them. It's just the chasing monsters things is always a bit annoying, but I understand why it's there to add a sense of tension. And it's an interesting mechanic in and of itself, it's just the, the bounciness makes it hard, and I'm also a little bit annoyed because I don't know what to do with this, <laughs> this part. The only other way I can think of is you bounce, you, you like lure him in underneath and walk off edge and bounce onto him and then chuck Theo up somehow. That doesn't feel like it will give you a big enough bounce, but we haven't tried it yet, I suppose. Wait, that's not even possible. At least from that layout, because um, the monster comes down from above. Okay. Um... Like, okay, so that's how you do it, but then Theo just yeets himself the wrong way. <laughs> okay, so I think that that must be what we have to do. We have to use this explosion to um, propel ourselves across. Which is creative. I'm not going to get... Don't get me wrong. It's just incredibly finicky and annoying. So we do this. Okay, just don't die. <laughs> I 
I can't wait till we get past this section. 15 minutes on this section. That's unbelievable. That's like one of the longest we spent on any section. I think. <laughs> what? It didn't even launch me. <laughs> ah. It would be funny if it weren't so sad. In the mortal words of Gladys. This is unbelievable how difficult this is getting. Like, I know this is a difficult game, don't get me wrong. Okay, thank the Lord he ended up on the correct side. We're just going to go on and we'll never look back. Uh, this isn't canon, is it? I got no clue, to be honest. Where's that button? Oh, it's up there. <laughs> oh, well, fear of survival at least. <laughs> you're, you're playing catch with him, apparently. Yeet! Yeet! <laughs> just run! Just run! Oh, I see. We have, we have to slam dunk him! Go, 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 go! Okay. <laughs> what is that? Oh, that, that was a door. Oh, I see. <laughs> Excuse me? Fear you just decided like falling off? Okay, well we missed. <laughs> the amount of times we've killed Fear now is honestly quite funny. Huh? Honestly, I'm just glad we're past the monster section now and we're, we're onto these mechanics. <laughs> Okay, um... Bit of a dangerous throw, huh? huh? What am I doing? <laughs> just, just, just end me. That's not how you solve this one. Grab him a dare, chuck him, yeet him, catch him again. We don't, we don't need to catch him again. But there's no... Oh, we probably sh we probably just shouldn't pick him up again until after we've collected that that one. That's my guess. <laughs> I just I just didn't grab that. It's messed with my brain. That first level is completely <laughs> it's completely rewired everything and what I know about Celeste. That's my nemesis apparently. That's my final boss. You know that happens. Everyone's got their <laughs> it's completely destroyed me. It's one. Um, everyone's got their own weaknesses and all that. Um, how do we even get Fio across it? Okay, well, let, let's just collect this first and try and see where we go from here. I actually don't know. How we're gonna throw Theo nearly high enough for us to actually um <laughs> you just missed Theo. I'm blaming it on you because if I blame it on myself, I'll feel bad. <laughs> but come on, <laughs> you know maybe maybe Theo is my least favorite mechanic. No, I'm joking. It, it's still those monsters. And to be fair, I didn't like them in the, the normal version of his level either. To be honest. How are you? How do you get him high enough? Okay, can we? I'm just trying to figure out if this is a. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get why he slides off. Um, I guess to be fair, I probably should have been testing it when he wasn't on there. You know, why put someone's life in jeopardy when you don't have to? It's it's not high enough. Wait, what? Did you, wait, for a second, I thought what I did was, um, I do like how there's a little bit of leeway, they sort of magnetise him, um, to the platform if you miss slightly, which is good. I thought what I did is I grabbed, chucked him, grabbed onto the wall, jumped up and grabbed him again. Is that what we have to do? Oh my god, that's so difficult. <laughs> that's, that's so insanely difficult. Um, 
It kind of looks like right. it's right though. I mean, at least it looks somewhat promising for some sort of progress. I wouldn't say if it's maybe the intended solution, but... It's so difficult. It's so difficult. <laughs> okay, that can't be right. That's such a weird mechanic. Well, it's not a weird mechanic. It's more like unexpected. That, that's sort of like a, a mechanic you put in for an Easter egg rather than a, a main level mechanic. I guess these aren't main levels. These are challenge levels, so... Maybe it's not that out of a question, and I probably should st stop trying to use this weird meta knowledge to try and understand. Oh, if I threw, if I threw, he would have landed there. Maybe. Why did I, why did I do that? You know, just... I <laughs> <laughs> just missed. Okay, do it again. Oh god! <laughs> I did not mean to throw you that far. <laughs> okay, so that's clearly what you're meant to do. It's just quite difficult, is the thing. To pull off. In fact, half of it is just sort of me like randomly pressing the dash jump and grab buttons and some sort of combination. I'm, I'm running on pure animalistic instinct once again. And once again, I'm asking for your animal instincts. Alright, that's a point. How are we going to not just completely yeet him off into the ether? Great. Aoife! Um, that's a good question. I guess we don't throw him, we just need to catch him and land on the platform. Good point. I missed. Okay. It's quite difficult, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's one thing opening the door, it's one thing opening it with Theo. Uh, this one is clearly impossible. Oh my god, we had to juggle him, don't we? No, I missed. Oh no, we don't have to juggle him. We just need him to land on there. That middle thing. Oh my god, it's a falling platform. <laughs> you can see the point at which her heart breaks in half. Oh my god, this is... Okay. This is actually probably one of the hardest... How the hell did I do that? I'm sorry for my language, but... <laughs> I, I cannot believe it. I cannot believe I spent 15 minutes on that first section with that the damn monster and I just somehow did that and I missed. <laughs> I, I'm just in shock is basically what it is. Oh, you missed. I say you missed. It's it's more like I missed, but. <laughs> How am I missing? I know how I'm missing, I'm just not hitting, but... Hmm, okay. We, we need to do it faster, basically. <laughs> I don't know why I did that for you. This is very, very cruel of me. Cruel and unusual punishments. Actually, the fear mechanic is pretty cool when it comes to... Like, like this sort of level is really fun. And that, that juggling thing we, we did on that last level. I have no idea how I cleared that so easily, just... Again, pure instinct, but it was straight up incredible, was it not? Just like that. Get it for you. Get it for you. <laughs> Mirror magic. I, I cannot believe it. I, I'm still in shock. I know it doesn't sound like it, but the fact that I looked at it and was like, oh my god, it's terrible, then somehow, somehow I just managed to have a lucky streak and make it work. That makes up for the 15 minutes I spent. Oh, there we go. Be side complete of um, the mirror world. How many more times did we die here? About nine. Oh, 90 exactly. There we go. We've still got a few strawberries to find in here. Apparently we found all of them in here and all of them here. Ah, this is a boss battle, isn't it, against Badline? So we've got all of them here. Two of them at the beginning, one of them at the end. Okay. I don't recall if we found the blue heart in this level or not. So that we'll have to keep an eye out for. Um... We might have found a blue heart. I'm really not sure. Off the top of my head, I, I, I honestly cannot remember. So, um, keep your eyes peeled. Well, I guess you don't really need to keep your eyes peeled. It's more like I need to keep my eyes peeled. I would not be surprised if there was a strawberry down there, so <laughs> that's why I looked. Because if it's, if it's two of them at the beginning, then, um, it's rather plausible that one of them is quite early on. 
Oh yeah, wasn't that like that mechanic where you can dash through screens? Maybe we can do something here. Um, I mean, I don't think anything's up there, and I can't see anything hidden around here. I'm just glad we don't have to do the monster sections again. The beholder sections. Okay, we we just sort of got to pay attention to where um, our first strawberry is. Because that will be the most enlightening part. Uh, so that's progress, if I recall. The heck is this? Uh-oh. This is Theo's phone. Don't panic, dear. Maybe it just fell out of his pocket. I don't think we ran into it the first time, did we? I'll keep it back to him when I find him. I'm trying to see if there's any hidden bits over here. Okay, where do I think the blue heart would be, though? That's a good question. This is just progress, right? This is where we're meant to go. Or is this a secret? I didn't mean to go this way, but... How cool would that be if that led to something? <laughs> I feel like there should be a secret around here somewhere, but not that I can see. So there's some meant to be a strawberry somewhere. Let's see what strawberry this is. That's not how you do it. We, we need to do this without dashing. I remember this one. That's such an annoying strawberry to get, though. <laughs> do I really want to do that as my first strawberry? I'm gonna guess we're kind of already here, aren't we? Because that's probably the earliest strawberry that will be listed, is my guess. So let's see what this is. What this counts as? This counts as number three. So we probably, in fact, already missed the strawberries we need, which is um, actually quite worrying for either that or they're even earlier somehow in here. Okay, so um, restart chapter. I've got to think one must be in this opening screen somewhere. Where exactly? I, I can't be sure, but that's that's our job to find out, isn't it? I'm, try I'm trying to think where the blue heart would be as well. Perhaps it's... I don't remember this level all that well as a problem. I remember there's mirror mode. I, I don't think it would be in the Theo section. That, that seems very strange to me. I think there's a strawberry behind, you know, you see that division from the purple to the, to the blue. Nothing over here, right? Hmm, but we, we'd need another dash to even get in. There's not many opportunities to even have a strawberry, I guess there could be one here. I'm actually kind of surprised there isn't. Okay, there's one here. Nice. That's the first one. So the next one is either on this screen or on the next screen. Could be plausibly around here somewhere. I don't, I don't really see any nook or cranny that it could be in. So I think I think on this screen is probably the best option. I say option, but like the most reasonable conclusion to come to. Of course, finding where it is exactly is a, a difficult part. We'll pick up Fia's phone again, because maybe when we go through, we'll f no, well, we had to go through quite a lot to actually actually find him again to give him back his phone. Um. Hmm. I mean, it's either on this screen or it's on this screen. Could it possibly be, like, up there? As long as we don't go through, I guess, that's a... I mean, there's nothing over here. <laughs> Just death and decay. Hmm. I'm actually astonished jumping in this and going backwards doesn't doesn't lead to anything. It really feels like it should do, doesn't it? Shouldn't it? <laughs> where oh where could this strawberry be? It must be hidden somewhere. The difficulty is where is that somewhere? 
that is not immediately obvious to me. Which I guess it kind of should, shouldn't be, because otherwise it wouldn't be much of a secret if it was just like, oh, look, there it is. <laughs> I mean, you, you got to, like two kinds of strawberries, I think I've, I might have mentioned this before. You've got challenge strawberries, where it's, it's very visible, in plain sight, exactly where it is. And then you got these secret ones, where you have to basically look around for it properly. But none of this looks like a um, place where strawberry could be. I mean, I guess it could be on the screen again. Like, is there a secret area in that secret area? Possibly. Like, is this a secret? Is there one even further down? Nope. What if we just, like, jump as far as we can off of here? No, it just kind of keeps going. Oh, I bet, I bet it's up there. <sighs> oh, you know what? Let's use our secret dash tactic again. It's not up there. <laughs> hmm. I'm kind of out of ideas of where this strawberry is. Oh my god, it's been 30 minutes. Okay, we'll round this episode up here. When I suppose we'll spend I'll spend a bit more time trying to look. Uh, at least this strawberry's near the beginning. So we can attempt it quite easily in the future. But we might have to come back to this strawberry until I can figure out exactly where it is. And we'll just do that other one near the end of this chapter. Oh, we're actually missing quite a few near the end. I didn't realise I said five chapters in. But still... Um, if you have been watching, thank you very much for spending the last. I've been dear darling. Likes, comments, description, shares, all great. Appreciate the links down below. I hope we can see each other again. But for now, it's our farewell. So until next time, bye bye for now.